Hello guys and welcome back to today's tutorial. Now in today's video, we are going to understand about how we can use a single arc to create the component which you have seen in the thumbnail of this particular video. Now basically, uh, first of all, I would like to thank you everyone, okay, like for, you know, viewing this particular channel and being a regular viewer. Now, if you are not regularly viewing and if you are not subscribed to the channel, I would really recommend you to go and subscribe. This is our 101 upload. So we have in the last video was our 100 upload basically in the channel. So I have now created more than 100 videos, I can technically say in this particular channel. So it will be really great if you are watching and if you are subscribed to the channel and if you have turned on for notifications so that you will not miss any of my videos for future. Now what we are going to do is first of all, this will be a very basic level tutorial you can say for NX. This is not a very advanced level tutorial of NX. Okay, uh, so it is traditionally something different than what we normally used to see in this particular channel. But I wanted to experiment a little to understand, you know, what kind of things you guys are more interested into. So here in this particular part, what we are going to do is we are going to add a arc, a single arc. And then using that single arc, using the extrude command, we are going to build that particular model, which I have shown you in the thumbnail. Okay, so let's get started. So right away. So first of all, what we are going to do is we are going to click on this particular option called new. And then we are going to set up the file location where exactly we want to, you know, place the part. And then we are also going to set the folder where we are going to save it. Now this same part I'm going to use in future for manufacturing for the next video itself. So it will be better if you save the part in a proper location. Okay. So take your time and decide where exactly you are going to save the part. And you can also continue with, with me. Like if you want to continue this particular part with me, you can also do it like that way. First of all, we are going to specify the name. So let's say for this example, I'm going to specify engage and retract as the name of the file. Okay. So if you are aware about NX cam, you will be able to guess what exactly I'm going to show you. Okay. After this particular tutorial is done for the next one. So like engage and retract is something which you are going to learn. Okay. Especially for open areas with this particular model itself. So if you can build it with me, you can use any particular software if you want to, but this particularly focus on the capability of NX. Now here I'm defining where I want to save it. So let's say I want to save it, in, save it in my D drive. So this is a location where I'm going to save my file and now I'm going to click OK. Now all I have to do is create a single sketch that is an arc. And once I make that arc and I'm all good to go. Now before we continue with creating that arc, I would like to show you one very important and effective setting. Like we are all familiar with NX with the very old UI or, you know, previous UI of creating the sketch. Now I personally don't like the newer UI of creating a sketch. Okay. So it can be because of, I have not used it much, or it can be also because of, I've used, you know, that previous UI, that constraint based UI a lot. So if you notice in my sketch, I'm using the latest current version of NX, but the sketch, you know, UI I'm using, it is still the older one. If you want to go back to the older UI for sketch, you can go to file. You can go to utilities, you can go to early access feature. Okay. Over here and here in the bottom, you will find use the new solver and UI for sketching and I've turned it off. Okay. So I can right click on this and I can turn it on if I want to. Okay. But I have turned it off for now. Okay. So after you do that, you can click on okay and you can restart NX and you will be all good to go. If you are basically using a older version. So for example, here I'm going to click on sketch. And then I'm going to click OK to create my sketch on the top lane itself. Now, first of all, I'm going to create a random arc somewhere over here like this on the screen. Okay. So that is the first thing we are going to do. Then I'm going to select the top end point of the arc. You can press the escape button or the middle mouse button of the mouse. Okay. So that you can come out of any command. So there is no command which is active as of now. I can select the top end point and the bottom end point of the arc and I can make them both vertical. So now technically my arc is now vertically aligned. Okay. You can say it like that way. Now I can give some dimensions to my arc. The dimension number one would be the distance from the midpoint of the arc to the end point of the arc. So this gap I want to define. So let's say I want to keep it like, for example, for this example, I want to keep it 60. So, or let's say 80, you can decide how you, you know, how curve you want it to be. Then I can define a distance from this end point to this end point of the arc. And let's say for now, this distance is going to be, for example, 300. Now a smaller distance will indicate a lot curve and a higher distance will indicate less curve. Okay. So here we are not controlling this arc with the help of radius, but rather we are controlling this particular arc with the help of the distances. Now, once I'm done, I'm going to select the midpoint of my arc 
and then the origin and going to coincide them together. Okay, so you can practice along midpoint of the arc, then the origin and you can coincide them together. And this is the only sketch which we are going to create for making the part. So I'm going to click on finish. Okay, so I clicked on finish. And now my sketch is selected. Now, first of all, what I would recommend you to do is make sure your sketch is not selected. Like as of now, it is not selected or you can press the escape button on the keyboard to make sure nothing is selected or you can just click in the blank area of the screen to deselect your sketch. Now you can go to extrude command and reset your extrude command. So here you will find a button for reset. You can simply reset your extrude command so that all of us have a same, you know, command window. Now, some of you might not be able to see this three option that is draft, offset, settings and all those things. That can be because you might be set to a lesser version of extrude. So what you can do is here next to extrude command, you will find this gear symbol. Okay, which is actually for display I display options. Once you click on display option, you can decide what you want to see, whether you want to see less command or whether you want to see more command. So here I'm going to click on more. Okay, so I can see all the commands over here, which is present inside extrude. Now here in section curve, I'm going to select a single curve from my curve filter, curve selection filter. And then I'm going to select this curve over here. Now by default, my extrude is going upward by 25 mm. So I'm going to reverse it. So here in direction, specify vector, I can see this particular option for reversing the direction. So I want my extrude to go down. Okay, so first of, first of all, I'm going to reverse the direction. And then I want my extrude should go with a depth of 50. Okay. And believe me, I'm going to only use extrude. I'm not going to use thicken or any other feature like that. Yes. So here my extrude should go with a value of 50. Now here you can find this option called offset. Now here in offset, I'm going to use this option called symmetry. And now what I'll do, I'll define a symmetrical offset of 80. So here I'm defining, let's say 50 for this example. Okay. A symmetrical offset of 50. Now I'll click OK. And this is how I have created the first base component. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to again click on extrude. Again, I'm going to select the same curve as a extruded curve. I'm going to again change the direction to go below. This time I only wanted to go by 25 mm deep. So here I'm only going by 25 mm deep. Now here in Boolean, I'm going to select subtract, but as of now, nothing is going to come because it is not a solid body yet. So here in offset, I'm going to select symmetry and I'm going to give a symmetrical value of 25. So currently it is subtracting with a value of 25 deep and 25 width. So this is something which we have created here inside NX that too with just a single sketch. Now I would recommend you to save this particular file so that you can, we can use this same file for the next tutorial, which will be related to manufacturing, which will actually control how the tool is entering and exiting the cut. Okay. That is for engage and retract. So thank you very much for watching and again I would like to remind you that please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Okay and thank you very much for watching. Have a great day ahead.